Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I initially planned to do a few videos. I didn't know how many I'm going to end up with, but uh, this is the fourth video I'm doing. It's not a fragrance review. It's more like, a, you know, morning thoughts episode. And uh, I would like to go give you uh, tips on winter. I'm not a beauty consultant or anything like it. I do use perfumes and I do have a few products I use as a dude. Uh, so I'm telling you like winter is up and every winter I do this like skincare, how to care for yourself in winter time. I'll give you, share a few tips, uh, share with you a few tips which I find useful. Okay. So hopefully you're doing good and cold weather is starting slowly in Bangladesh this year. Uh, the winter is starting late. Usually it starts late October, but now it's like mid November and we're seeing like 20, 22 degrees. It's not really cold for your standards in Europe, but it gets around 15 degrees in December. So uh, for a country where we always see 42 degrees, 50 degrees, hot and humid, you know, like we burn all year round. This is kind of like a chilled uh, experience. And this is the only time of the year, two, three months, people are nice and they are relaxed. So nice little uh, food, a lot of carnivals happening, you know, like uh, we have weddings, nice lights, city is more beautiful, less noisy. I love this winter, you know, like this time of the year, you see things like the street, you know, the neon lights or the, the you know, the lights on the road, they're covered with fog. It looks very dreamy. I love the way the new cars, you know, HID lights or projection headlights, and they go through the fog. You can see the ray of light, looks beautiful. I'm just all about, I'm sucker for winter. So. I always go out, walk, you know, every day and enjoy the cold breeze, enjoy like snacks, winter snacks, you know, rice cake, this and that. So how to take care of yourself in winter? Because in winter, a few things happen like dry skin and dry skin really makes me suffer because uh, I do get like dry lips. I always see me like people ask me, what's why your lips are always like, you know, gelled <laughs> or uh, they are like glossy. It's not to be beautification or anything, just that I always get broken lips. It's very painful, especially to the side. They always break during winter and uh, it's very painful. I can open my mouth so it, it will burn. So I use, uh, first of all, things like, I'm not promoting any brand. You can do whatever your favorite brand, something like lip gel that lasts for a long time. So Ves Vaseline or Vaseline, uh, lip therapy has few, uh, aloe vera, there's a rose, there's a cocoa butter or something. There are few flavors in Bangladesh. I like the original. You can also keep the small one. This is cheap. This is our version. So you can keep this in your pocket. They don't take so much space, especially this one. It's very cheap. This is like 15 taka. That is like 15 cents or something. So you can use this when you out, go out, especially the cold breeze sort of makes your lip dry. You'll see what a difference it makes. When you go out, it will be very comfortable. Okay. Second thing is uh, comfortable. Comfortable. <laughs> the next one is I use is this product. You can invest in some people say they don't like this. This one is bad for your skin so far. The aloe vera one is really working nice for me. I have bought a backup bottle of this. <laughs> uh, this one for my dry skin. When I do this, you hear? Uh, I just applied the lotion like two hours back, it's already gone. Uh, I get dry skin, extreme dry skin, and then I get like, you know, like my hands are getting like all uh, dry, it looks bad. And also I feel kind of like, you know, it, it pulls. So I don't like that sensation. I like to use this one uh, because winter time can get very dry and you need moisturizing. And even if you see in USA, people who use lotion, they have extremely nice skin. Like uh, people say African-American, black people, you know, they have nice skin because they take care of the skin. So we, uh, some of our, our countries, people also use lotion. I use it all year round. So this is light. You can use any lotion that you like, not this brand you have to have, but this is less sticky. It's, it has good uh, coating on your skin. It does have very useful uh, effect. So in winter, you can use lotion. For your skin and uh, third tip i'll give you make sure some of you will be like winter time i don't shower it's cold i feel like lazy to shower 10 days i don't shower in uk i heard people shower once a month and during winter because that's how they roll but i was like mm, now nah, i have to shower every day <laughs> sometimes i went like two three days tops max after that it's crazy even if it's cold you don't sweat but you feel like you know the head smells like a little bit different so I have to shampoo. So make sure you shower every day, especially if you live in a country with a lot of dust, okay, like Bangladesh. Winter time, it's dry, so dust everywhere. So you'll have that nice little coating on you and you'll have itchy skin, allergy, this and that. Then you'll have, uh, I have like a cold problem, like sinus, sinusitis. So I, every winter, if I take one or two 
cold drinks with let's say some ice cubes of coke uh coca-cola not coke people will be like hey coke you're doing coke no i'm not doing coke it's coca-cola sprite any drinks juice moment you have a sinus issue it's forever so your my nose bleeds and i get blocked nose i cannot smell any perfume which is exp like uh, excruciating okay so i'll come to that but i was just saying uh make sure uh, you shower every day and uh, if at least two three days once you shower you feel your skin is like you know fresh again and you'll enjoy you'll feel better about yourself then use deodorant always i say don't go out without deodorant i use this one especially uh, long lasting ones you can do whatever you want but these are essential for me and then definitely the lotion help you increase the performance of your perfumes like you'll see fragrances with me so winter time they last already long but if you have a lotion or petroleum jelly on you and then you spray the perfume it will last much longer so that's talking about the cold how to take care of yourself in cold always drink warm beverages at least uh, room temperature outside let's say 15 degrees you know that water is already chilled that you bought but uh, if you have like tea and coffee it's just so lovely with that weather and you'll never have the cold problem I'm trying to avoid it but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get uh, sinusitis again so these are some ways you can take care of yourself in the winter time drink plenty of water you may think hey winter time you don't need to drink you need to drink a lot of water you'll see otherwise you get headache then you'll feel a little bit uh, pain if you drink plenty of water you're just good what else take plenty of fruits winter fruits enjoy them seasonal fruits uh, avoid uh, smoking very important if you're a smoker then i cannot tell anything i used to be a smoker so you have to quit when you know that your health is an issue uh, but earlier you quit it's better so i'm trying to promote a little bit of social awareness okay it's like a corporate social responsibility in a way uh, and the thing is if you have to party make sure you party well but at the same time you also take care next day okay you wake up and have coffee egg whatever you know good food to get over the hangover uh, yeah the thing is if you take care of your health you know your health will actually appreciate it you know your body will thank you and you live longer basically but you do not know if you're gonna live longer or not it's up to him but try to make a better living as long as you're alive make sure you suffer less don't suffer like me perhaps another tips i tip i have to give to myself is do not eat too much of outside spicy food you really feel like temptation of eating spicy curry kebabs you know like barbecue life going on if you eat too much of that the body cannot process you have gastric ulcer or acidity and you know bp uh, indigestion and then perhaps blocked heart heart is blocked so different issues so eat with good balance you know, eat at home and then eat normal food do not eat too much uh, you know those charred barbecue or fried oily food which i'm telling to myself as well uh, but if you have to make it at home it's much more healthier the oil is good especially so these are some things and last tip think top of my head i can give always keep uh, warmer clothes with you if it's gonna get cold if you're going out if you're traveling if you have this you have to face the breeze if you if you, this area is exposed what's gonna happen is you're going to have sometimes catch a cold and fever overnight next day make sure or overnight take like a panel or a, you know like napa extra something one of those uh, medication if you feel a little bit feverish and drink a little bit of water and uh, don't use fan high speed or ac very cold you sleep and wake up you'll feel better so make sure you're ha you have good uh, winter clothing wear shoes don't get bitten by mosquito and uh, try to stay basically out of harm's way so you do not waste your winter beautiful days so that's about it and try to look good stylish everybody tend to be very stylish in winter they buy i have my last year's plenty of jacket hoodies this and that rock those rock your perfumes hang out with your friends utilize this because this is a time you have to enjoy your life thank you so much for watching and always love you and keep me in your blessings so i can do more content and stay out of harm's path love you all have a nice day see you soon Tata.